Warning! If this is my first video of you watching, welcome to the weird, and if this is your first video ever on the tiny legend, Big Ed, you should go watch all my other videos first. I don't want to hear anyone say, we shouldn't make fun of him. <laughs> nah, we actually should. He deserves it. He knows what he's doing. Okay, let's start. Hello, my pretty. There will be no house dropping on me. At least not before we talk about your creepy, tiny, ugly, little munchkin friend. Big Ed, who's not so big. And he's gross. And then I'll get you and your little dog too. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alfeba, aka the Wicked Witch of the West, aka the ruler of the Western Quadrant in the land of Oz. Specifically, the Winky County. I am blessing you with my presence and taking time out of my very busy day of hunting down a little girl and her tiny dog to give you all of the tea about a gross little munchkin boy named Ed and his newfound love. Now just imagine my little pretties dating a tiny, creepy, mayonnaise in the hair little munchkin part goblin. He is of mixed species for fame money for anything really just having him around you this might not be true but my crystal ball tells all and i had a reading about this woman and you will see in the footage she plays this i'm a nice girl looks don't matter ed is a sweet little man that's misunderstood and tlc screws with the footage to make it seem like i'm uninterested but i truly am really i am attracted to this ladies and gentlemen the myth the no neck legend and the cameo king Get ready. This is Big Ed. And this. So you're in Big Ed's living room. Oh my God. And that. But don't let me persuade you. Look into my crystal ball and you tell me if this 28 year old young woman seems like she's just dripping wet in her panties for a tiny munchkin. How do you feel me sitting in front of you and you're actually talking to me? <laughs> yeah, sure. In my last video, we ended at a point when Ed decided to ask a waitress named Liz on a date. Okay, so I think you're amazing. And uh, I want to ask you out on a date. Because we all know young waitresses love when weird older men who are eating at their establishment that they work at confuse a waitress for being nice as flirting. Honey, they're nice to you because it's their job to be nice to you and they want tips. They don't find you attractive. In fact, they find you annoying and weird and probably talk shit about you behind the door. They're all laughing at you, especially you, Ed. But interestingly enough, Ed got very lucky and Liz said yes. So they had a date at Ed's house where he wanted her to meet his mom. It is really nice to be able to meet you. Munchkins move very fast despite them lacking in the height department. Liz even communicated that this was just way too fast, told the mom that the age difference was not ideal, and that she was just coming out of a very long-term relationship. I mean, I don't know where him and I will go from here because I, there's an age difference. There were way too many awkward silences, but despite the weirdness that the mom and Liz were feeling, Ed thought the date was going great. I mean, a few signs from Liz that she's into me, she's bonding with my mom. You gonna kiss Liz tonight? You know, the plan is to kiss her. I mean, come on, this is date number three. I mean, I might as well just go for it. And maybe I can get Liz in the hot tub by the end of tonight. So great that he went in for that amazing kiss that we all remember. And if you don't, let me remind you. You don't mind if I stare at you? <laughs> Where's your car at? Like right there. <laughs> cool. Thank <Awesome>. you. <laughs> you can't do that. Why not? Soon. That kind of pushed me back. I didn't know you were going in for that. That was weird. <laughs> yes. Yes, Ed. That was weird. That was weird. And so are you. For some odd reason, though, after Liz left the awkward nose kiss, she cries about it outside with producers. No, not because that was the creepiest thing and she has no disinfectant to clean off her nose and doesn't know how to clear her mind like SpongeBob in the waiter episode. Empty my mind. Empty your mind. Empty my mind. <laughs> but because she felt she ruined the relationship that they had. Well, 
speed it up and you would think Liz is just a nice person. Someone who feels bad for Ed, so she's entertaining his little time and being nice to him because she doesn't know how to tell him to fuck off. No, supposedly she is very interested in him. Like legitimately interested. So much so that they both went to a wedding that's two hours away together and got the same hotel room together. We're staying in the same room, separate beds for two nights. So I have to get the kiss. And to anyone that is confused and needs clarification as to if I am shaming Liz for being attracted or just entertaining this tiny little munchkin man from my universe, I am, okay? So the confusion should be gone. I am completely shaming her. What do you expect? I'm a witch. I'm a horrible person. He's a horrible person with a horrible personality who thinks women should look like this while he walks around like a living thumb. Please don't act like you're better than me because you didn't say it. And I did. We are all thinking of it. Ugly person with an ugly personality. And that is just not a good mix. And Liz, if you're watching, come here. Come a little closer. Don't be scared. I'm just in five foot two little witch. Let me tell you a secret. I'm not and no one else is either. So when going to this wedding, Ed gets an Uber for the car rides. I hired a car because for two reasons. One, I have car anxiety and I don't like driving up mountains. Yeah, let's get to the real reason. Time with Liz where we can, you know, make out. I'm just kidding. Uh -huh, he's not kidding. And the fact that he says what he really means and then follows up with, I'm just kidding. Oh, I feel like ew, it's just like what creepy men do. I really want to make out with you, but just kidding. <laughs> I mean, uh, it, but we could make it happen though. <laughs> we can sit in the back and have a nice conversation. But they didn't have a nice conversation. She just seemed annoyed the whole time. I wonder if it snows at this elevation. Look at all these smashed cars. It's a, it's a good thing I'm beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop talking, but um. There's no buts. Just hey. don't. Halfway through the trip, Liz needed to stretch her legs and use the bathroom. During this time, Liz is in the bathroom, Ed gets a call from the hotel room. See, originally, the two were supposed to sleep in the same hotel room, but separate beds. Oh yeah, you humans are not stupid. You know where this is going. So the hotel calls and mysteriously, they uh, ran out of rooms and would like to know if they would like to be upgraded to a room with one large bed. Hey, we have had a couple rooms out of order um, due to some maintenance issues. So we are short on double queens and now we would like to change them to a king. And just imagine right now being in bed with Big Ed. <laughs> And without even asking Liz and consulting her and say, and asking, hey, is this okay with you? Are you comfortable with this? He goes, yeah, you know what? Go right ahead. Okay, I'll take it. Perfect. All okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, score. I get to be in bed with a girl. She has a vagina, guy. Eh. I'm only analyzing all the sneakiness of it, that's all. I finally don't have to be in bed with one of my dolls. Oh, come on. He looks like he has one. He screams, I have an imaginary doll that I do things with in bed because no one else wants to talk to me. No shame in that. I'd much rather him stick with inanimate objects and completely stay away from women. So, um, hopefully I get to sleep here because <laughs> there's a sofa. <laughs> Look at her face. That face does not say, oh my God, please sleep in the bed with me, you tiny rectangular squeaky voice man. That says, aw, oh, I really need the money and the more I comply with whatever the writer is writing for TLC, the more money I probably get. Or the more I look like I'm interested and care about Ed, the more I look like a good person that doesn't care about looks and cares about people's souls and what's on the inside that count. And then more of the watchers will like me and they'll probably follow me on Instagram and YouTube and I can have a very successful life. <laughs> I have a great surprise for you. Oh, yes. Look at that. What kind of is this, Ed? You have a young girl in a hotel room. You told her the most absolute dumbest jokes. You laughed at your own jokes. And you sat there and ordered one slice of cheesecake to share with your lips. Get the girl her own cheesecake. She deserves it for putting up with you. Oh my God. If I went on a pity date with a feel sorry for me because I'm a short Oompa Loompa and I'm on TV, it'll be worth your while type of guy. And he got me one slice of cheesecake to share with him. I'm walking out. I'd be so irritated, y'all. Like, y'all literally wasted my damn time. So, why don't you do a toast and I do a toast? I don't know what I'm toasting okay, to. Okay, I'll go first. Your sense of humor? I feel like that was a... 
Not a compliment. Your sense of humor? That was a let's toast to your sense of humor not being funny and me being here getting that check. Let's toast to that. Okay. To my Trying sense of humor. To get along. Trying to get along. Okay, that's good. They aren't even together yet and they normally don't get along and this is them getting along. There's no buts. Just don't. Not the best start to a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for being a yes. Did he say thanks for being a yes or thanks for being a guess? Thanks for being a yes. He said yes. So like a yes girl. Makes complete sense to thank her. He's been hearing hell no and get the fuck away from me, you pervert, for I don't know how many years. Liz and I are having a good time. I think we're both. Wait, pause it. This face does not translate that to me, Ed. None of her facial expressions translate that to me. What does this translate to me? Is he trying to drug me? Oh God, he's very close to me. I have to sleep in the same bed with him? Thank God the cameramen are here, oh my God. But what about when they leave? Is the 15 minutes of fame really worth it for being known for the girl who entertains someone who could cosplay as all of these characters perfectly shit. Reading the same signs and I'm going for the kiss. <laughs> First of all, ew, the kiss. And second, they did him so dirty. He's all cross-eyed, looking like my pug. I'm sorry, Yoshi, I didn't mean to do that to you. You look way better than this. But just imagine right now, some guy, this guy, says he's gonna go in for a kiss, but before he goes in, bam, that's gonna turn you on. Especially if you're only there for the money and the fame. Cause I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. That's my plan. So, you're here. I am here. So, I did it. You did do it. I did it right. Let me correct that sentence for you, Ed. You didn't do it right. TLC did it right, not you. TLC. This would never happen if you were not on TV. I know that, you know that, the world knows that. Don't, don't, don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to us, because we're more important than you. Um, I'm just so nervous around you. It just took me a while to get used to your your beautiful face. But um it took me a while to get used to you. Do I really need to respond to that? <laughs> Burn. He's got such creepy dad joke vibe. Burn. You know those friends that you're hanging out with and you're about what, 13 and you get a weird vibe from their dad that he's hitting on you and you're 13. Okay, you guys, we are gonna have so much fun. My mom made sure to get me glitter nail polishes, my totally awesome CD collection. Oh, I know, Tiffany, Justin Timberlake would make such a perfect boyfriend. Oh, of course, Jessica, I brought your favorite snacks. I don't know why your parents are putting you on a diet. You look great. Okay, who wants to get their nails painted first? Hey, hey, Dad. Mom said it's okay to have a slumber party with my friends. Um, this is Jessica and- Oh yeah, I know who Jessica is. I see you at the gym with your mom. Yeah, she's old, unlike me. <laughs> Just kidding with you. But I see you working hard out there at the gym. Yeah, you really growing up. Real fast. Yeah, Dad. Um, just reminding you that we are 13. Oh, thanks, baby, that reminds me. Five more years and it's a go. So anyone down for a nice wholesome game of Twister? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, like that. Pretty much. It doesn't help that he tried to import Rose from a different country. And I know some girls just look super young. Some girls don't have, you know, wide set hips or boobs. And I'm not trying to make anyone feel less of a woman. But I always get a weird vibe from those super old dudes that seek out super young women that look super freaking young. You can't deny this. Rose, when he targeted her, could pass for a teenager. Great jeans, girl, but hmm. 
Okay, you know the type of guys that I'm talking about. Ed, it just reminds me of those animes where they're super young looking fairies that look like they're at least in middle school, some elementary school, with a voice to match having relations with a full-on adult. And the writers are like, oh yeah, she's just, she's 2,452 years old, guys. It's fine. Don't question it. Anyway, that's my rant about the type of vibe I get from Ed. And going through the comments, many others get the vibe as well. But let me know if you get that vibe. Anyways, um, thank you for that. Um, I don't know, um, How to ask you this. It's just so crazy. How about you just don't ask her? Yeah, let's go with that one. Whatever's about to come out of your mouth, just don't let it come out of your mouth. Just keep it in. Try that for a change, Ed. But, can I kiss you? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Girl, what are you gonna do? Is this worth it? Is this worth the TLC paycheck? Well, audience, put in your votes. Will Liz think it's worth it to kiss these lips of a little munchkin man that puts mayonnaise in his hair? That's right in the comment section right now. Place your bets. Will Liz let this man's lips grace her lips for a TLC paycheck? Is your vote in, my pretties? Good. Let's see what happened. Oh, Dorothy, if anything besides no comes out of her mouth, please, I'm giving you full permission. Squish me with a house right now, and I will willingly give you my boots. Don't make it weird. Here you go. I won't. <laughs> Dude, you just made it weird. Sorry, more weird. She literally gave you instructions to not make it weird. Don't make it weird. And you excitedly shimmy off the couch with your tiny leg. You follow up with that munchkin laugh. <laughs> you may, you know what? I have nothing to say, but it is tradition on this channel when we talk about Big Ed, and y'all know I had to. That's literally what plays when he's walking, standing, jimmying over the couch with his little legs about to kiss you. It's his theme song. Wait, what's going on? Uh, are, are they, are they, are they gonna kiss? resurrected but I am still very hurt by seeing that and I don't know why TLC did that to us we already saw Ed naked pretty much <coughs> your lips really taste good pause it right there look at her face that does not say I just had a great kiss with someone I have an amazing connection with that is the face of someone saying holy shit I need this money I can't smile but the least I can do to make this look like I'm not completely disgusted is to not throw up I'm starting to feel something from her, which I never felt before. Left or right, what side do you like? Technically, you're supposed to be closest to the door. You're right. For protection. <laughs> For protection? For protection. He is such a m'lady neckbeard type guy. Question, audience, who would you choose for protection in, let's say, they're about the same size, Pokemon. If you were walking along Viridian Forest and came across a wild Heracross, which Pokemon would you choose? Pikachu, Squirtle, or Ed? Exactly. That's how you choose your men, ladies. If he can defend you in a battle against a wild Pokemon. If he can't, then he damn sure won't be able to protect you in a hotel room with whoever is able to bust through that door. Sweet dreams. One more kiss. Oh, love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Like I said, munchkins move very fast. Oh, I love you. And as you can see, he is just a great listener, even though she said she wants to move slow. And they just had their first very disgusting and repulsive kiss. And right after that first kiss, it's a cherry on top is the mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, yep, cool dude. Thanks for saying that. You're making this a lot harder than it is, but I really need the money. Yeah, Liz, mm-hmm. That mm-hmm really sounds like you're into him. That sounds like you're attracted to his looks. That mm-hmm really set the seal and made all of my questionable thoughts and proved me wrong that you are completely into him. Mm -hmm. So apparently they, them, these two, this girl and Big Ed did the Yes, you know the uh-huh, the 
all of that. Did you guys have sex? Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we made love all night. This was on top of Liz. Did it about twice. Liz was on top of this. I never had anyone take over and make love to me in my life. It will go down in Big Ed history. It sure will. She was gonna go down in 90 Day Fiance history. Congrats, Ed. I honestly, I was not expecting any of this. That was great last night, by the way. Mm-hmm. There's that mm-hmm again, just showing how excited she is about all of that. How was the rest of your night? This is really good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we believe you. Not. Is he a good kisser? <laughs> I had to teach him how to kiss, <laughs> so I feel like I have to train him to do a lot of things, but we laughed about it. I mean, what else can you do except laugh when you're with the joke of reality television, which most reality TV stars are jokes, so that's pretty low to be the joke compared to all of the others. But what else can you do, Liz? It is funny. I'm laughing, so it's probably good for your mental health to just laugh too. Now, after all of that, do you think that Liz is interested in Ed? I see some of you are still saying yes. Idiots! Well, let me tell you my theory. I actually requested her on IG, hoping to infiltrate the area and get more information. I waited nervously on the edge of my broomstick to see if she would accept my friend request. She did. I'm in. Which is not that exciting now because her profile is completely open and she shares all of this information openly. We will get to the reason of that in just one one second. And of course, along with this show and many other reality star news outlets that share this information, but I still felt cool at the moment, okay? Let me have this. You see, Liz is a 28-year-old woman living in California, San Diego to be exact. Actually, near North Park, where I used to get my wigs. It's about 10 minutes from the beach. The closer you live to the beach, the more expensive it is to just breathe. So Liz, who I have to remind you, is 28, living in California, near the beach, is also a single mother to a seven-year-old daughter named Riley. She works as a manager at a local restaurant where she works around 60 plus hours a week, a good job, and lots of hours, but not good enough to not live tightly and paycheck to paycheck in California, specifically San Diego. Especially if you do not have a double income and a child. Liz said in an interview with the celeb guy that she didn't even know who Ed was. She just knew that he would always come to the restaurant and talk to everyone and just kind of stay there forever. He would come in all the time um, just to hang out. Creepy. And Liz, I don't believe you. I didn't actually know who Ed was when I met him. So you don't, you, you didn't watch 90 Day Fiance before this? I've never seen 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> I did this show without watching a single episode of 90 Day Fiance. His you're, season. You're kidding. You're telling me that you had no clue who he was, this odd little man with cameras all around him? Sure. Joe, you never, you never even heard of this guy before? No. As if she's perpetuating that she's just an innocent woman who doesn't really watch TV, doesn't watch reality television, and did no research on who this was. I'm not saying yes to this munchkin man to get anything out of this. I really liked having his body flop all over me like a whale out of water. No, honey, I'm not buying it. There were also some inconsistencies in her interview. She says she had no, absolutely no idea who this little man was who would have constantly come inside the restaurant, but then she said that she saw memes of him. I mean, oh I've seen God. like memes and stuff. And claimed her seven-year-old daughter watches the 90 Day Fiance show. My daughter, uh, she's gonna be eight. She actually knew who he was. And she saw him on the TV as she passed by. And the only time I've ever seen Ed on TV was when I was walking out of my room to the kitchen to get water. So she knew he was in the public eye and was on TV for something. I also speculate she didn't glam herself up very much for the camera so that she could give off this I'm an average wholesome woman with a good heart. If she did herself up the California way, people would be more suspicious of her diabolical plan. But once again, Liz, we are not falling for it because we cracked the code. We know why you're here, Liz. You saw Rose and how she was struggling, a single mother who decided to date Ed and she is now thriving. She bought her own house. She has a successful YouTube channel. She's getting sponsors and you said that could be me. So you started approaching Ed at the restaurant you work at. Or maybe he approached you it doesn't really matter but you started laughing at his jokes or at least standing there with this same face it doesn't matter to Ed as long as you're standing there he thinks that you're attracted to him he is the epitome of the bling if you want me meme and then he asked you out and you said ha got him now all I have to do is not throw up whenever his shorts
your asses around and look like I'm not repulsed by the essence and smell of this man. Oh my god, he smells like mayo. Hold it in, Liz. You need that money. But once again, Liz, I'm not buying it, and I don't appreciate being lied to. But I do appreciate you playing this little, little man. I'm all for women using this man because he's using you as much as you're using him. And he's gross, manipulative, tells women they should look a certain way when he looks like a living pudgy thumb, a mucinex man, a munchkin, and not the cute one. Burn! So Liz, I salute you. I hope you get a big ass check and you and your daughter can thrive. Oh, and what's that? They broke up, allegedly. In fact, the rumors say that Liz tossed Ed in a dumpster. Good thing he already has the hat since he's been dumped. Very fitting, which makes it even more satisfying for me. Apparently, there were some issues that Ed himself spilled the beans and broke the TLC NDA contract. I'll have to update you on that if it's true or not, but this video came out and I would like to put out a warning right here. 36 year old, specifically Asian woman with a yoga booty, please hold pepper spray or other items when you're walking alone anywhere in San Diego because Ed is now looking for you. I want a yoga butt Asian nurse. 36 with a yoga butt that has to care about me. And I'll spoil her, I'll buy her a car and a house. He also posted a recent video on his dying channel titled My 2019 Trip to the Philippines Behind the Scenes, where he talks about his time with Rose on the previous 90 Day Fiance season, along with pictures of them. Many people are saying, well, why are you looking for a 36 year old Asian woman with a yoga booty, Ed, when you are in love with Liz and Liz makes you little man giggle? <laughs> and you're her protector. Protection. Why are you posting these videos of a past relationship? Isn't that disrespectful to your new relationship and the person you are supposedly in love with? Why do you want specifically an Asian woman with a yoga booty when you clearly are not even close to being in shape? Why, Ed? Why? Did you guys break up? Did she dump your ass? Of course they did. Liz even confirmed it on her now public profile, which is why I think she made it public, because you know the internet. We all have our opinions, especially on this channel. Even though Though our paths have led us our separate ways, you'll always be a great memory. Heartbreak. Enjoy the rest of the season. That was just so sweet. And she could totally be a super sweet, kind-hearted person. But she could also be a super sweet, kind-hearted person who saw an opportunity to get some money and boost her following. Anyway, there's this comment where she gives us a little bit more tea and her true feelings as to why the relationship didn't work out. I'll only be reading the parts that I care about, so feel free to pause it or you can just read the whole thing on her profile and tell her that the wicked witch sent ya. I just have a question. Besides being so beautiful, how come you and Ed don't follow each other on IG? And they don't. I checked. I've been checking a lot. I don't think they really ever followed each other. Anyway, so Liz responds. I'm going to be completely honest. We used to follow each other, but for a short amount of time. And then I stopped because his page is a bit much. <laughs> I don't think many people would disagree with that. It's over posted and would blow up my news feeds. I had the dude. I didn't see the need to see him on my phone. Also, clearly we broke up and that's all out in the air so of course we don't follow each other while we are on partial topic my heart was very much involved I broke silence because Ed has no problem posting pictures of other girls quote-unquote young girls and his trips mm-hmm see here's the young girl comments again that we keep hearing over and over and over and his weird trips remember some news came out speculating that he is a Tourists going to different countries to have relations with young girls promising his wonderful homeland the United States with some good old SEX with him and drunkenly added a video of what he's looking for in his next woman already spilling the beans I should not have to be respectful back and keep my silence constantly covering the scene and being tagged in his outings It's not my business anymore I am allowed to live my life publicly or in private without living in someone else's shadow in hiding or secretively I don't mean any of this to come off as rude. No girl, please be rude. You should. You deserve it. Now like I've said many times, I don't think she was into Ed. I do think she is a nice person who saw an opportunity and it's just natural for her to be nice about the situation when I just wish just one, just one wish that she would just say, you know what Ed, you're small and you have a small that's all I want to happen. But she looks like she's taking the high road, wishing him the best and continuing to work and enjoy the state of California. You go girl. When his drunk ass is out here requesting an Asian nurse with a yoga booty 
free. Fuck all the way off, Ed. All the way off the side of a melee battleground when you only have one life left. So there are many speculations about this relationship that has no effect on any of us at all, but it's always fun to gossip. If it is my job, after all. So let's look at the different speculations. She was either hired by TLC because Ed is repulsive, but he also brings in a lot of views, so they had to hire someone to act like they were into him. Two, she's here for the clout and saw an opportunity to help her and her daughter. Three, lastly, she really was interested in getting to know a man that's more than half her age, is short, is not the most attractive man, has a creepy personality, whose joke sucks, who drives a Fespa, still has his mother do his hair, that he puts mayonnaise in, and dates girls that are young and look super young. Yeah, some people believe the last one. And I just have to ask, just a tiny question, what is it like to live in an imaginary world where the skies rain gumdrops and lollipops? <laughs> I really can't with some of y'all. This was not a real relationship. This was a weird, little, lonely, creepy man who thought America was gonna fall in love with him just because he has a neck condition. And because he's short and drives a Fezba who cheated on his wife, the only woman that seemed to care about him because he couldn't keep his little pickle in his pants, trying to dive into a young woman's vagina. And a young woman so desperate for money and to give her daughter and herself a good life, like Rose is now able to do for her and her son, decided to pretend to like one of the munchkins from my universe. But she doesn't like you, Ed. No one likes you. Your daughter doesn't even seem to like you. People only surround themselves with you because you're on TV and you know this. I don't like you. The other munchkins don't like you. And a 36 year old Asian woman with a yoga booty doesn't like you either. I want a yoga butt. Asian nurse, 36 with a yoga butt. Lose some weight. Stop bathing in mayo. Stop fetishizing women. I want a yoga butt. Asian nurse. Take some comedy courses. I'm with Liz where we can you know, make out. I'm just kidding. Throw in some personality courses as well. <laughs> it's a it's a good thing I'm beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe, just maybe, once you fix a little bit of your creepy little self, some desperate woman will see what absolutely none of us sees inside of you, and she will then let you halik her. May I halik you? Over and over again until the end of time. So fix yourself, Ed, because all of these relationships that you claim that you're in love within 0.2 seconds of meeting them is weird. And Liz, if you ever wanna have a conversation with a very voluptuous, nice, but not naive five foot two witch, inbox me. Slide into this witch's DMs, and until then, YouTube, I'm out. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like both. You gotta kind of. Okay, others. Sit, buddy. Sit. Oh, I think I got it. Like, yeah, she's got a beard. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha